Hey guys, welcome to the seventh C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will be creating an avatar viewer. Um, avatar viewers are surprisingly very easy to make, and it really only requires one line of code. But we are going to look at try and catch statement, <coughs> try and catch statements in this tutorial. So let's get started. First, click create project, Windows Forms application, and this time you might as well name it Avatar Viewer. All right, and click OK. And in this tutorial, we won't be working too much with code because it's pretty basic to make an avatar viewer. So we're going to look at um, really how to make your the UI or user interface look a bit nicer. So first, you can put a group box down, which you can use to organize different categories of your program. I'm just going to have it up here, and it's just going to call be called search but you can name it anything you want and I'm gonna have a text box in there for your gamer tag and a label that says gamer tag so people know what to type into the text box oops all right Bit. And then we're going to get a button and place it near here, near your gamer tag box. And call and make the text on this button search or find or something relevant. And just it's up here. And then we're going to get another group box. And this is going to be where the actual avatar is going to be displayed. It's going to write Oops, avatar. My A button's a little sticky, so sometimes I have to like redo stuff with A's in them. But anyways, now we're going to rename the form to Avatar Viewer. And we're going to drag a picture box inside of the avatar group box and dock it in parent container. And we're going to choose the to make the size mode center image. All right, so now you can double click on your button to generate the code. And what you're going to want to do is type picture box one dot image location equals two quotes and then a semicolon. Now the picture box one image location can be one of two things. It can be a website URL or it can be a location on your local drive or your disk drive or something like that with a picture. But in this case we're going to be using a URL. And I will um leave this this URL in the description. It's just um it's just the URL to get to your avatar for Xbox Live. So now this paste the URL inside these two quotes and put two quotes right there to split up in two different segments. Put two plus signs there and in between the two plus signs put text box one dot text. So what this will do is it will go to this URL with your gamer tag in between this spot and then that. So here's what it looks like on xbox.com. As you can see if I were to type Experiment 5x in our text box, it would say it would show up like this. This would be the URL. So now when we debug and we type <coughs> our gamer tag in the text box, mine is experiment 5x. Type that in, and we get our avatar. This will work with any avatar. Type in like Major Nelson. and you get his avatar alright now in, if there were to be an error with our program it would just crash so to avoid that what you can do is you can do something called a try and catch error if you write do try here and put your code that you are trying to have it do <coughs> inside the french curly braces just like that and then if you have a try statement you have to have a catch statement so what this will do is if there is some code 
or if there was some if there was some unknown error with your code, then it will go to the catch statement. So we can just have a message box dot show. Just say your avatar could not be retrieved. All right, and now we debug. Type in your gamer tag, like so. I don't think I don't really know how to get this error, but you can use this with other types of code too, not just this. So that's it for the seventh C sharp tutorial. And if you have any um, errors with your code, just please let me know. Leave like a comment in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to help you out. So see ya.